Hey, I have been thinking a lot lately about cars and specifically buying cars. And so I wanted to do a very quick video about that. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Chane Carter. I am a financial educator and also the founder of Empower Financial Planning. I want to help you figure out what you make, what you spend, and what you owe so you can be intentional about your money. So I want to stop for a minute and talk about that intentional part because I've been thinking about buying cars. Not for me. The teenager that lives in my house is going to want one and I will likely buy one for her. Now, the question then becomes what kind of car? In my mind, I would pass her my car and I would go buy myself a new car because that's fun. I get a new car, she gets a vehicle, everybody's happy. But is that the smartest financial decision? Nope. Because me taking on a new car payment, even if I buy a used car, taking on, taking on a new car payment is not financially smart. The smartest thing to do would be to buy her a used car in cash and continue to drive my old car. That is the good financial decision. We don't always make good financial decisions. So I wanted to talk a little bit about being intentional. I have a friend who drives beater cars. She purchases high mileage vehicles. She fixes them up or um, has someone fix them up and she drives them till the wheels fall off. They are cheap, they last two or three years and then she goes and does it again. She can buy them in cash, there's no car payment and she can just repair them when they need it. Not terrible cars, not great cars, just cars that are just transportation. And isn't that what cars really are, just transportation? The reason she does this is because she wanted to put her children through college. So she didn't want a car payment. She didn't want to focus on what vehicle she was driving. She wanted to focus on putting her kids through college. She was very intentional about driving those type of cars for the purposes of that. I have another friend who took money out of her 401k to make a down payment on a car. And then she began to pay the loan from her 401k, then the car payment. So she was paying both loans at the same time. She's about finished paying the car loan off and now she wants to do it again. Take money out of her 401k on a loan and go take it and buy another car. Is that a smart financial decision? I think we all know the answer to that. But the reason she's doing that is because she likes driving nice cars. Nice cars that she can't afford the down payment for. Now, why am I telling you all of this? Because those are two extremes. And no offense, but they're kind of the extremes of driving a car for just transportation for the sole purpose of putting your child through college or taking money away from your retirement so that you can drive a nice fancy car now. I do my best not to judge people based on their financial decisions. What I would ask is, are you being intentional about how you're purchasing cars and what methods you're using to make that decision? For some of us, we like driving fancy cars. I am one of those people. I like driving fancy cars. I don't like car payments. So somewhere in the middle of not liking car payment, but liking to drive fancy cars, I have to find a happy space. And that happy space might not be the best financial decision, but it might be the best emotional decision for me. I will get to drive the fancy car I want and I may have a car payment, or I may choose to do the smart financial thing, which may be to buy her a used car, pay for it in cash, and drive my car until the wheels fall off. Either way, I have to be honest with myself about what I'm doing and why and how it will affect me. And because I won't be a good financial educator if I don't say this, if you're taking loans out of your 401k for any reason, you are hustling backwards because you are removing your money from the market and you could be removing it when the market is low. So you're selling low. We all know that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to sell high. So one, you could be selling low, but two, you're removing your money from the market and not giving it an opportunity to grow. And if you happen to be repeating that, you're setting your retirement backwards. Your assets aren't growing. You are not recouping the losses that you might've taken in previous years. You are literally hustling backwards. So there are very few times when taking a loan from your 401k is a good idea, but it's especially not a good idea if you are going to buy a car. 
something that is not an appreciating asset, something that is not going to help you build wealth, something that is not going to set you up for the future. So this is not necessarily about cars. This is about being intentional about what your objectives are. If your objectives are to buy a home or to save for retirement or to send your kids to college, make sure that the cars you choose to drive are not setting you backwards to your main objectives. And if your objective is to drive a nice car, do that. Just know what you're doing and know why you're doing it. So I hope this helped. I hope you got some value from it. If so, click like and subscribe and uh, I hope to see you guys around.